In recent years, we have witnessed a huge advance in the development of scanning technologies. However, it is often difficult to obtain an accurate reconstruction of single 3D objects in a casual setting, since the scans are not accurately tracked during the acquisition, and noise in the data may easily lead to an incorrect registration of the scans. In this paper, we show that a semantic segmentation of RGBD frames leads to a significant improvement of their registration, and, as a consequence, improves the reconstruction of the object. The semantic reconstruction also yields, as a byproduct, a segmentation of the reconstructed object. Our method is based on two core components, a deep network that labels the pixels of each frame into different part categories, and a reconstruction method that employs the semantic labeling to register the RGBD frames and reconstruct a 3D object. The key idea is that these two components help each other in achieving a common goal. Segmentation improves the quality of reconstruction by providing semantic labels, while the reconstruction in turn provides more training data to refine the neural network and improve the quality of the segmentation. Now we explain those two components in more detail. Training a deep network for segmentation requires a large amount of training data in the form of multiple labeled scanned sequences. Thus, a key contribution of our work is an active self-learning framework that simplifies the creation of training data, relieving users from considerable manual work. The active learning is an iterative process where the frames that should be labeled by the users are strategically selected to minimize the amount of required annotations. The self-learning makes use of the reconstruction to transfer labels to unlabeled data and provide extra training data for the network. More specifically, for each sequence, we compare the labeling predicted for the frame by the network to the labeling obtained by projecting the labels fused and refined on the reconstructed model. For each pair of labeling on the same frame, we check the percentage of pixels with consistent label. We consider a labeling to be of high consistency if the percentage is larger than 80%. Here is another pair of labeling with low consistency. A sequence is considered to be of high confidence if it does not contain any subsequence longer than 30 frames, with all of the frames being of low consistency. Frames from high confidence sequences are uniformly sampled and fed to the framework for fine tuning, which constitutes what we call a self learning process. For a low confidence sequence with one or more low consistent subsequences, the active learning is conducted by selecting frames more from those subsequences and asking users to annotate these additional frames. To use the predicted part level semantic labels for reconstructing a model, we adopt the method of Niesner et al. 2013, but compute candidate transformations for each semantic part respectively first and then obtain the optimal global transformation with an optimization involving all candidate transformations. Since different parts may have different geometric properties, the transformations corresponding to different semantic sets should have different importance in the optimization. Towards this goal, we define a weight for each part based on the labeling confidence, part size, and normal variation. Once the object is reconstructed, we remove the background and keep only the object voxels, and further use the graph cuts method to smooth the labeling of the object voxels. After background removal and label refinement, we map the fused voxel labels back to the input frames for confidence estimation to select frames for the active self-learning. We test our method on three representative categories, chairs, tables, and motorcycles. Here are some examples of reconstruction results. Note that both the reconstructions and their segmentations are of high quality, despite the complexity of the acquired shapes. The chairs and tables possess different types of topologies, reflected by the connections between object parts, while the motorcycles have many small parts around their engines and handlebars. Here we show example labeling results on some testing frames from those three classes. And we can see that the segmentations have high accuracy. To show the effectiveness of our active self-learning for segmentation, take the chair category for example. We show the curve that captures how the labeling accuracy changes as the deep network is trained with more data. Each hollow circle corresponds to one iteration of active learning 
while each solid point corresponds to one iteration of self-learning. We see that the accuracy improves not only when frames annotated by users are added during the active learning, but also when frames selected by the self-learning are automatically added to the training data. In contrast, the method based purely on active learning never reaches the same accuracy as the active self-learning with the same number of user annotations. Here, we show a comparison of the reconstructions with and without semantic guidance. It is noticeable that the results obtained with our method are less noisy and have less missing regions in the reconstructed models. For more results and evaluation, please refer to the paper. Thank you.